Oh, he's gonna 1v3, right? He can 1v3, right? He can 1v3, guys? Please, I make 10, I'm rich. Please, go Olaf. Gambate on Isan. Frick it, give me a belt, give me a belt. I oh, frick it, frick it. Hey, he's gonna do it, he, he can do it. Look, you saw it, he can do it, but I'll give him a sword anyway. Ah, genius mode, guys. Do we just run back Yasuo? Shall we? Choose my friends. Shall we choose my friends, no? We just run back Yasuo? We're chilling, no? Edge of night? Like, what else do we do, man? It's too clean. I think this time I'll try to get Giant Slayer. I think Giant Slayer is actually better than Infinity Edge. God, I just go BT Giant Slayer. I mean, pumping up is not bad. This is also really good. I feel like this is better. Because he always scores a takedown fast. I think he scores a takedown super fast. But I think I go Edge of Night first item, not BT. I think first item is Edge of Night. And it's true damage Yasuo, it's the good Yasuo. But this time I only have four Yasuos. Last game I had five Yasuos at this early on. So we'll see if it goes well. But this time no one has a headliner Yasuo. So that's pretty good. And I just play Bruisers. To give him some beefiness so he doesn't die. Give my team some beefiness. Not too bad. The intro, no, the intro was the Olaf 1v3 aim because people like to see that. When you do something different than usual at stage. Like, usually I don't stay, I, I don't show stage one because like, it's kind of boring, but I did something different than usual, right? I made 10 because we had the bonus gold from 3 cost champion stock. You can only make 10 if you have a Lilia or an Olaf. Only they can 1v3. Only they are, they can 1v3. Uh, we just send it again, man. Yasu reroll again. GG. These are... I think I'll try Giant Slayer. I think Giant Slayer is better. I think Giant Slayer is for sure better. I want to make 20, no, I got my one win, I'm, I'm, I want to just make 20 now, isn't it better? I think the chance that I win again is so low. Like, against this guy I win, against this guy, I mean honestly I probably win against this guy, I lose against this guy for sure, I might, I actually lose against this guy, I think I lose against this guy, I lose against this guy, like I, I lose against almost everybody. And honestly against this guy I might win anyway, oh, watch this, I, I think Yasuo can 1v4. Oh no, this guy has headliner to something, never mind. There was one guy with four units, but no headliner. With no items. I, I probably could have won before. Like, no cap. Right, should make a practice tool for TFT just like in League. No, that would be terrible. They already said their reasoning, and I fully agree. It's because if there is a practice tool in TFT, because it's an auto battler, people would just figure out the very best comp on every patch in the first three hours. They would just test every single comp against each other, and then you wouldn't even play the game anymore. You would just, the pros would just practice mode all day, all day against each other. Or like not even against each other. You could just make your board, enemy board, and then just keep doing that. That would just be the pro life of a pro player. Because like the game is not mechanical, right? It is a little bit, but you know. You smell me, guys? That is very good reasoning that Mortog once said. I fully agree. Because the game is already ruined by stats. Like, I'm a for fun player. I'm a casual player that just wants to make the most fun YouTube videos. And um, the, the entire world instantly watching all the challenger streams, all the, challenger, all the challengers looking at stats on the websites, right? And figuring out what the best items are instantly. Like, there's no more innovation, right? Like, you just... The, the patch loads in, and after two days, it's basically solved. And then, maybe a week later, China figures out, like, a really good counter comp to something broken. And then maybe that comp, like, something gets discovered. But uh, the game gets very stale pretty quickly. And there's no more, there's no more, like, for fun thing that you can do in ranked. Honestly, is this loss even good? I feel like this loss isn't even bad if I get a quadruple loss streak, no? It's not even bad, man. It's not even that bad. It was kind of a crazy loss there. Ah, 
Bro, I'm such a late pick because I lost so... Can't get my items, man. I'm such a late freaking pick, no? I think I'll just go for the armor, but... Uh... So I want to get Bloodthirster Giant Slayer, right? I think on Yasu, I think that's going to be the best. Because Hodge Infinity Edge, I realize, doesn't even make that much sense. Hodge Infinity Edge doesn't even make that much sense. Show me who you are. Because you get... Uh, the problem is... True damage cannot crit. The true damage component of the ult cannot crit. So Giant Slayer is low-key better. And then why would you go Hodge, right? Why, why not just go Bloodthirster for lifesteal? Like, then you might as well go Bloodthirster, right? So I feel like we're doing that, right? Also, he might just go into the backline here. Oh, frick. It's fine. Do I still win this? Or do I get a good loss? Like, I just need Yasuo to get some kills. But he's... Why is the Mumu healing so much? He healed so much there. Like, I know this school, but like, it shouldn't heal. Like, it healed him. Oh, the Bard. The Bard healed him. Okay. The Bard healed him. Okay, so I want Bloodthirster. I want Bloodthirster Giant Slayer. I want to try it. Because Giant Slayer is way better on true damage. The true damage component of your damage cannot crit. So true damage with crit is not good. You want the Giant Slayer, that, that will increase the true damage. Oh my. I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy. And I make 40. Oh, I'm so happy I have 40. I'm so happy. Alright guys, we're freaking back. Wait, are we just gonna win a game again? I think I switched sides here, right? On this side I can get a kill easier. I can get a kill easier here. The Gragas, the Lilia. Okay, against this guy I actually win. Which is not good, but like what am I gonna do? Sell my Asos? No. Is what it is. It's okay. It's kind of bad though. Win, loss, 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 win. At least I have a lot of health. I have a lot of money because I did the Olaf thing and... Um, yeah, I did the Olaf thing, right? So I have, a, I have a decent amount of bonus gold from that. Because one gold turns into more gold as you collect more interest rate, right? Alrighty. <clears throat> I need to scale eventually, but... You know. And then I'm fully uncontested on Yasuo, right? Giant Slayer is gonna be really good, I think, man. Like, Giant Slayer low-key last game, I might win, no? no? Not really, though. Not really. No Yasus. No Yasus on bench. No Yasus. Two Yones. That guy is so, so, so happy about a two-star Yone. Okay, this guy is hard committed to Yone. And this guy has two Yones as well. But he has no items for Yone yet. And he burned items that he could use for Yone. So I don't think he wants to play Yone. And this guy is Mr. 130. Sword. Ah. Oh, that is just not bueno, guys. That is just not bueno. Okay, bow. Bow is not bad. Bow, there we go. We have the Giant Slayer cooking. We just need two swords somehow now, right? Which is really difficult to get. I think I'm buying the, the gun. I'm buying this though. I'm buying this. I should have bought the girl. I should have leveled. What the freak am I doing? What in the frickity freak am I doing? I don't know. I should have clearly leveled. Excuse me, sir! Sir! Where did this come from? Sir! Hey, Bumblebee, you mother trucker! Respond when I'm talking to you, man! Where the freak did you get the Dazzler emblem? I mean, I, I just got a freaking tome last game as well. Like, why am I complaining? But it's kind of funny, you know? I just wanted to flame the Bumblebee, you feel me? Melon's budget. Melon's budget. It's not even that bad. Sniper uplink. Sniper uplink is not good enough. Heroic presence. Martyr is not bad, but it's not good enough. This is really good, though. Yeah, this is really good. 
I mean, low-key, I don't want to buy this cannon too, man. Like, I'm going to sell him anyway. Ugh, I don't want to buy this, man. There's no way I'm buying this cannon too for a piece of trash. Also, am I just not playing her? Like, who's better, cannon or her? I don't know, man. Frick cannon, man. Frick cannon. Frick cannon. Frick cannon. We're just playing super fan for now. Should I give him bling bonus? Not really, though. Not really. Like, what do I give him? I need Bloodthirster, Giant Slayer. I'm not giving him Protector's Vow, that's for sure. I don't want to find a new unit, a new cannon, man. But the thing is, wind streaking here is very important. But I need to put the items on Echo. But don't I kick cannon anyway if I find a Kali? And surely I'm gonna find a Kali this game, right? Like, this game will find a Kali, right? Ooh, look at this beast, guys. Again, Sterox is not good on Yasuo, but we just play Super Fan because we don't have anything better. I don't have Edgelord. Yet. I missed the Ribbon. If you noticed, I missed the freaking Ribbon. Okay, now we have a new cannon, so now we just do it, no? Now we just go for the Bling Boney. The bonuses. I'm not gonna make 2-star Nico. it's way too expensive, man. It's actually way too expensive. I can level next turn. I can level next turn. I could level this turn. I think I level next turn. I make 40. I'm gonna move one. I think he can one-shot something in front of his face, yeah. If we could just one-shot this, like a genius. And you're focusing the idiot, the, the frog. Remember guys, we're playing uh, Reroll Yasuo because last game I did really well and yeah, we're playing it back again because we have the Edge of Knife, which is probably the most important item and it got buffed, right? It farms a lot more attack damage now. From 1% to 1.5% per kill. And healing orbs is insane, guys. Like the fact that I have healing orbs is just win streaks the stage 3, you know? I'm gonna level here after this carousel. I just need swords. Swords, swords, swords. But the thing is, I'm last pick. Or second last pick. So am I getting a sword? Probably not. There's a spatula, which is really good. I can get a spatula. I can get uh, the thingy spatula. But I wouldn't actually take it anyway, because it would require another sword, which is impossible to get. Okay, this guy is probably a stream sniper, no? No, he's not. But I'm just going dead last now, no? I'm gonna take the Z. Uh, I mean, I can go Steadfast Heart. Uh, I don't really want Hodge, man. I don't want Hodge. I do not want Hodge, bro. I don't wanna go Hodge, man. I, I don't wanna go Hodge. But there's no way I get two swords at Wolves and I need to finish my items. So I just need to go Hodge. I mean, for now I have Sterox. <laughs> For now, I have Sterox. Am I playing Zed? Not really. For now, I have Sterox. We're just gonna play double this, I guess. For now, I have Sterox. I could also go Steadfast, which is pretty good. Hodge on her won't make a big difference. Ah, it's so bad, guys. Like, Hodge, Giant Slayer? Titans is terrible, don't even think about that. We're going dead last if we take that. He has red buff. It's gonna freaking obliterate my augment. My healing orbs do nothing. Right, that's not even true, they still do something, but this guy is so strong, man. His last stand as well. I still don't have Edgelord, man. Like, not having Edgelord is super bad here. I need the bonus attack speed. I need double sword. I need to do drop double sword, but I already dropped the sword at the start of the game, so the chance is very low that I even get a single sword. Well, at least not very low, but it's lower than the other items, right? That's how the game works. That's the little rule they have. I'm gonna move one so the Nami doesn't obliterate me. This guy has two star. Yoni has good items for him. I'm gonna just wait. No, 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 he's rich, he's rich. What the frick is this? What is this? It's Akali on a freaking rocket! Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a motorbike. 
What the frick is this? It looks so weird from this angle. No, God, nah, guys, come on. It looks like a rocket. It looks like she's holding a rocket like this. Like in a cartoon. She's going to the moon. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to be cringe. Sorry, guys, I thought it would be funny. I thought it would make you guys chuckle. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, we take out the Senna with the item because um, if I only get one sword, I have to go Hodge. I need to go triple item with Dasu. The thing is, I don't even want to roll on seven. Rolling on seven is so bad. I have to roll for one edge lord, and I have to go for a hodge. Guard breaker is terrible. Guard breaker isn't even that bad though. But I already have the thing on him. I have to go for a hodge. I didn't find an edge lord. Okay, I'm going dead last. Okay, cool. Nice guys. I really don't want to go Hodge, guys. Like, I'm going dead last, man. I, I can't even win anymore, man. Can I afford to go no healing? Nah. No way. Like, bro, when can I go level 8? At Carousel? After Carousel, I'm, I'm gonna be at 30 health. I think I'm dead, guys. I, I, like, it's so hard to come back from this. You know what? I'm, I'm down to not play Yasuo anymore. It doesn't look that strong. If, I, if I'm losing these mid-game fights... Infernal Contract does nothing, literally nothing, literally nothing. Hedge Fund is actually not that bad. Roll the dice is freaking trash. Lucky Gloves. I already burned the Lucky Glove, man. Go freak yourself. Lightning Speed is freaking terrible. Curse Crown, go freak yourself. I just have to take this. And I think I have to use it right now to level and roll down already. Like, I have to roll down already. I need Akali and stuff. I missed, I missed two Echoes. What the frick am I doing, man? Do I just sit and go fast 9? You think I can? I think I can't. I think I can't. I think I can't. Can I just go Morello? Yeah. And I have Random Cloak. That's fine. I just give Cloak to Akali. Not that bad. Get the Goblin bonus. You think I can go fast 9? Low key? With 6 true damage? It's a big spike. 3 edgelord, 6 true damage? I, the, th the thing is, I need a Viego. A Viego gives me Penta kill. Uh, like Mordekai Mordekaiser and Viego, I mean. But I mean, I'm, I'm getting rid of a 2 star cannon then. I'm getting rid of a 2 star cannon. Is that even worth? I don't know. Like, I could get Sentinel with this guy, but I'm getting rid of a two-star cannon. I don't think that's worth. I mean, this doesn't look that bad to me, bro. Like, I feel like I'm fine. I feel like I can go fast nine. Like, I just need to survive until Raptors. It's just three fights, and now I'm level nine. And then I can find Ki Kiana too, and I just cap out with Kiana too. Kiana too. have him in the middle which is really bad but it's fine whatever man i mean it's not fine bro it's not fine akali's gonna get shreked instantly he also isn't doing enough damage he doesn't have a giant slayer he dashed forward like a freaking idiot now he's just gonna get one shot by ari yeah ari's really balanced not really she doesn't even have good items man what the frick is this she doesn't even have good items guys how does she one shot him Blotter, sir, I would have magic resistance. Oh, well. Okay, I need... Like, uh, like, am I gonna get it, though, man? I mean, maybe. There's an Akali as well. Someone's pinging the sword. Okay, I definitely have a stream sniper. I definitely have a stream sniper, then. If someone's pinging the sword, I have a stream sniper for sure. 
<laughs> what a freaking loser. Brother, it's this guy, right? It has to be this guy. Wait, who took the sword? One guy took the sword, remember? I mean, you can check the vault, guys. Whatever, man. It's fine, brother, man. I'll, 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 um, like, he's mad because he was, he was, uh, he was staying up. He was staying up, um, all night, you feel me? And, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an early bird, you feel me, guys? I'm an early bird. Look, he's pinging me, but he's pinging me without, with, like, without this, you know? So I can't see who it is. Like, I'm an early bird, so I woke up a little bit early. So I visited him too early, you feel me? Today, and then he, like, I woke him up. Like, I, I went, I went there at 8 a.m. Because that's when his father leaves for work, you know? And the thing is, I don't even know why his father has to leave for work. Because, like, his father already said he wants to even watch. But his mother feels weird, like she likes when no one else is at home. So, I don't know. Like, I woke him up. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I get it. I get it, man. I, I try, I'll try not to. I'll try not to next time. Don't worry, guys, man. He won't grief us next time. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. I'll be nice. I'll be nice, guys. Don't worry. What is brother man talking about? <sighs> Nothing, I guess, man. Nothing, I guess, guys. Nothing. I'm not talking about anything. Let's not try to be funny. Let's just let's just get mad that he's stream sniping. That's okay, guys. You freaking idiots. Why don't I just one shot this freaking guy? Don't I just one shot this freaking uh, Yone? Ah. He has a last stand, he has last stand, a duplicator, and a two-star gym. Well, that's not good. Edge of Night is gonna pop soon. I mean, this guy is so weak, though. He has last stand, a duplicator, and two-star gym, but he is hardstock level 8. He is hardstock level 8. As long as he doesn't find gym, another gym, he's not gonna be able to two-star it, so it's fine. As long as he doesn't find it. Okay, we are level 8. Uh, we are level 9 now. So we just roll for Kiana. We roll for Kiana too. We ditch cannon all together. We play without cannon. And then... Um, I am going to... Probably... I, I can fit an Ilawi as well. I can fit Ilawi. I probably just play Lucian because he's broken. Um, and it's rapid fire. Easy access to rapid fire. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I just itemize what the frick are those. I mean, those items are, like, completely unplayable. I'll just go... I mean, I can go Rabadons on Senna. It's not even that bad, I guess. I think I sack one. I, I think sacking one makes sense here, because I get so much money. I need one... I need one Mordekaiser. I need one Mordekaiser. Even Shroud is trash. Hurricane is kind of bad, but at least it's some attack damage. So it's not that bad. I just go rabbit on some Senna. I just go rabbit on some Senna. Like, Dragon Claw is kind of bad here. Even Shroud is bad. Because we are, we are true damage, so we have so much true damage. So I, th I feel like Hurricane is better. On a Kali, even no cap. I might be wrong though. I might always be wrong, guys. But even Shroud, like, you have so much true damage, right? I don't think even Shroud makes a lot of sense. The stats are really bad on it, right? Like the like the stats that it gives. Meanwhile, uh, the stats that uh, Masher's uh, that Hurricane gives are really good. It's a lot of attack damage. They buffed it again. It's attack speed. Kali doesn't really want more than that. I mean, to be honest, I didn't find that much. Like, the Viego is kind of crazy. Like, should I have just taken the Viego and gone 9? No, 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 I need Akali too. I need Kiana. Like, I'm, I'm actually really weak. I need to roll here. I'm actually really weak, guys. But Giant Slayer seems pretty good, no, on Yasuo? 
like I thought it would be. But I have 17 health. I don't have a combat prismatic. Like, bro, I didn't find a single Kiana. I rolled a lot of gold as well. I can't buy this. I have to sell Yasuo. I can't sell him. That's pretty good. I mean, this guy isn't even that bad. I think I just go Morello on Diego, actually. I go this on Echo for sure. <clears throat> I need to start Echo. I'm against Yasuo 3 here, which is actually... Oh, against the Riven 3 is too hard. I can't beat Riven 3. She's too tanky. This guy has double Riven 3, he has hologram. I think I'm going dead last, actually. But I don't think it's my fault. I, I don't think I did anything wrong. Like, what did we do wrong, no? Rolling 60 gold, not finding a single Kiana? I guess. I guess, man. Do I even want Bramble? Do I even want Bramble? There's a QSS for Akali. I mean, I have to take Kiana, though. I literally have to take Kiana. I can just put Bramble on Kiana. Or on Akali. I mean I need to put an item on Kiana. I'm gonna go. I'm going I could go Morello on Senna as well. I need Lucian. I, I didn't find any of the legendaries that I need. Like literally nothing. Yorick over Caitlyn doesn't do much. I don't know why you're saying that. I would rather have this on a Rabadon's unit. Rapid fire. Not making Caitlyn too. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't find anything, bro. Yeah. Mm, I feel like it's Morello on him. No cap. I mean, I didn't scout and reposition. But at the end of the day, man, if you hit nothing, like, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, yeah, it really doesn't matter, man. I didn't get I didn't get a single sword this game on the carousels. It really doesn't matter that much. And then I just go level 9. I get, a bad I get 6 bad prismatic augments. The only one that was acceptable is this. Okay, at least we get a... Isn't this the stream sniper? I think it is, bro. What a freaking noob. Kiana 2, incoming. Why don't I just move Bramble? Uh, why don't I just move this then? Do I just lock? I feel like I lock because 2 star two star guy is 2 star guy. I mean, I hope I don't fight last stand. That's for sure. I hope I don't find last stand. Ah, he moved Yone, man. He moved Yone. Honestly, against Yone, I might one-shot him, no? Ooh, I one-shot him! Huge! Wait, is he dead? No, he's not, right? He's not dead. This guy's 1 HP. But he's winning, man, with Last Stand. It's so strong. Look how close this lobby is. This lobby is so stupid. Too that lobby is ridiculous, guys. Like, the thing is, I would be so much stronger if I had 2-star Kiana. And I should with the money I had. Like, with the money I had, I should have to Sir Kiana. Oh, it's really unlucky. It's not even that contested. There's one guy with Kiana. This guy got so lucky. I don't know, like, he's hard stuck level 8, right? I don't know. Like, no, he found Illusion as well. Level 8. I have to buy this. Uh, it makes me weaker. It makes me weaker. I lose six. Cr I, I lose six. Uh, it makes me weaker. It makes me weaker. It actually makes me weaker. I lose six juicers. It makes me weaker for sure. Okay, that, that was probably item on Kiana, uh, on Akali, no? 
Nah, it was item on Akali. The thing is, this is just last stand diff, no? This is just gonna be last stand diff, bro. Like, last stand is so insane. Wait. Pog? Okay. I think it makes me weaker, no? I, I think it makes me weaker, bro. I like, the Yasuo farmed up attack damage all game. He has 97% bonus attack damage. It breaks my whole structure of the team. Like, it breaks my whole structure of the team. It makes me weaker. No cap. Like, if I would keep the Yasuo, then yeah. <laughs> or if I would get... If it was true damage headliner, maybe. But even then, I lose true damage. Okay, I'm kiana this guy, I hope. Oh, oh no, it's on this guy, but he's gonna get one shot. Okay, okay, nice. I'm Kiana-ing kiana the guy. Okay, okay. Wait, I'm top two. I'm top two. What the frick is this? And I can't win against Riven. It's a counter matchup. I can't one shot her. So I think it's just Jover. And he's 6 8 bit Riven. Like, it's broken, right? It's fine. It's fine if we lose this. I mean, it's the last fight. I have to sell this and buy this. I have to sell this and buy this. Nice, she ulted uh, Mordekaiser once, that's not bad. Ah, nah, it's, it's impossible, it's Riven 3, right? Riven 3 is hard counter, because she can't get one-shot, right? You can beat Yone, as you saw, you position the Yasuo in front of Yone, you can one-shot him. Because he's all about Titans, stacking up the Titans. So if you can one-shot him at the start of the fight, before he stacked up Titans, you can kill him. But Riven has the big shield that scales with attack damage, so you can't really one-shot her, right? Bro, I went from the trenches of dead last to a freaking top two. What the frick are these lobbies, by the way? This guy gets a freaking Dazzler emblem, which is good because it gives him plus jazz value for free. Has insane items on Misfortune, perfect items, basically. Three-star Misfortune, and he's dead last. Yone three, fifth. But I mean, I obliterated him with the positioning, right? You know why the lobby was kind of... I was able to get top two. The freaking Disco players got so unlucky. This guy had one star um, Blitzcrank, right? It's just a Disco player diff, right? And this guy just screws to first with... Uh, that, like, he gets two emblems. I don't even know how, man. Like, how does he get two emblems? I don't know. Subscribe to the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.